I still need to recover from another love or would you be here for me? Hi everyone, good morning. Today is our last day here in Honolulu and today we are going to take the hop on and hop off bus. This time it's going to be the red line. Okay guys, we will go to a lot of places today. I will see you all later. What should we do? The Hawaii State Capitol is the official state house or capitol building in the U.S. state of Hawaii. Located in downtown Honolulu, the Hawaii State Capitol is commissioned and dedicated by John A. Burns, second governor of Hawaii. It opened in March 15, 1969. Washington Place is a Greek Revival Palace in the Hawaii Capital Historic District in Honolulu. It was where Queen Lilu Kalani was arrested during the overflow of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Later, it became the official residence of the Governor of Hawaii. What if this breaks your little heart in mind? Now we are in Punchbowl Crater. It is an extinct volcanic tuff cone located in Honolulu. It is the location of the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. The crater was formed some 75,000 to 100,000 years ago during the secondary activity of the Honolulu Volcanic Series. The National Memorial Cemetery serves as a memorial to honor those men and women who serve in the United States Armed Forces and those who have given their lives in doing so. It was an incredibly beautiful cemetery and memorial for those service members that made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. The overlook gives beautiful views of the entire city of Honolulu and Diamond Head. I still need to recover from another love or would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your We are in Chinatown, Honolulu, buzzing with vendors, shoppers, business people, and tourists. This sliver of downtown Honolulu is an exciting mix of history, mystery, and fun. Amid the lay stands, noodle factories, hole in the wall eateries, and herbal medicine shops, the Ohau Market attracts locals, recognizing it for savory selections of fresh meats, fish, and produce. Me. 
This is the Kekaulige Market. It is a fun place for locals and for tourists to visit and shop for fresh fish, crabs, chicken meat, vegetables, as well as frozen meats. haven't had a chance to visit the Philippines again and we decided to take advantage of the home-cooked Filipino food available in Honolulu. There's a small food court with about 10 or so different food stalls, many of which are Filipino and there are a couple of Thai stalls as well. As soon as you walk into Mauna Kea Marketplace, you'll feel like you've transported yourself out of Hawaii and back to Manila or Bangkok. There are a few community tables where you can sit and eat. You can also get your food in a foam box or take away or eat wherever you like. You'll find all the classic Filipino foods available. The stews, fried fish, curries. There were probably about 30 to 40 different dishes to choose from. The hardest part about eating this type of food is having to choose what order. If I did my way, I want to try one scoop of everything. Calamansi, black tea, and how about yours? Coconut tea, milk tea, and I still need to go to the good guy. Never met your parents, not even your mother. Hey guys, we are going back to our bus. We are just passing by downtown Honolulu. It is the current historic, economic, and governmental center of Honolulu, the capital and the largest city of the U.S. state of Hawaii. We are in the Ioani Palace. It was the royal residence of the rulers of the Kingdom of Hawaii. The palace holds beautiful memories of grand balls and public hula performances, along with painful ones with Vivli Uklialani's imprisonment and eventual overthrow. We are in Alamoana Regional Park. It is a free public park on the island of Oahu. This is a 100-acre park and has a wide gold sand beach that is over half a mile long. It is such a beautiful place to enjoy and plenty of rooms for picnic. There are several restrooms on the park grounds, all which contain changing rooms if you feel like taking a dip in the ocean or the lagoon. The beach seems calm and ready for a person to enjoy. The park seems well kept and friendly. We are about to have our dinner here in Blue Ocean Seafood and Steak. It is just a few minutes walk from our hotel here in Kyuhiyo Avenue, Honolulu.
This is salmon and mahi mahi bowl. Definitely a local gem. The food is fairly priced for the area and it's fresh fried food. Also, the large serving size was nice. Most places in the area don't serve that much food. Hi everyone! We are back here in a hotel getting ready for our flight back to Dallas tomorrow. I hope you all like this vlog here in Honolulu. And yes, if you end up liking this vlog, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!